Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter four, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So on number two, it was 24 divided by seven. I did that this way, because it's a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna write down my multiples of seven, which you guys should know by now. Just not that far, okay? Okay, so it looks like the highest I'm gonna be able to go is three. Okay, so I'm gonna put a three up here. Three times seven is 21. I subtract, I get three. That makes my answer three remainder three. This is my whole number here. This is my remainder here. Okay, okay. So three remainder three, okay? We're gonna do another one, okay? I'm not gonna write down my Multiples of five because you guys definitely know those by now. So I'm just going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I can't get to 40. So it's going to be 35. So that's seven times. Seven times five is 35. Subtract, I have four left over. So my answer is seven remainder four. Write down your work, guys. It's important. Okay. You guys are going to do four through eight. You totally can. I'm going to help you guys on number nine, just so you can see what it is that they're talking about. Okay. So they're talking about you have 14, you split it up between three. So you're going to make 13, or sorry, three circles. Okay. And then you're going to put evenly until you get to 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Oh, I don't have enough to put 13, 14 and still have one for there. So that means right now I'm at 12, 13, 14. So my answer is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, remainder 2. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. Four remainder two. Okay, so if you have your three, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But you only have thirteen and fourteen. You don't have enough to put one equally into three. So you're gonna have two left over. Okay, you guys do this one okay i'm gonna give you a hint and tell you that you're breaking it up into five circles because this is how many circles this is how many circles okay i'm gonna split 29 evenly up between there okay you do it okay you can also do this just says what's the quotient and the remainder of the division problem model below well one two three four five six remainder Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remainder two. It's just how many are in one circle. Okay. Okay. So Mark drew the following model and said it represented the problem 21 divided by four. Is Mark's model correct? And if so, what is the quotient and remainder? If not, what is the quotient and remainder? So you see how it's split up between one, two, three, four. That means that if he has four of these, there should be one more in each one of those, and those should not be in the remainder. So the answer should be five remainder one, because now there's one, two, three, four, five in each bubble, and you have one left over. Okay? So Mark is Incorrect. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay. And we are going to do this final review together. Okay. All right. So. Each kit to build a tesla contains 235 parts. How many parts are in four of those kits? So 
235, and we have four of those kits, okay? So four times five is 20, carry our two. Four times three is 12, plus two more is 14, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. 940 parts. There we go. Okay, write down your work, guys. Okay, all right. In 2010, the population of Alaska was about 710,200. What is this number written in word form? So all we're going to do is write down what we just said. 700. 10,000, comma, that's where the comma is, 200. Done. Okay. All right. At the theater, one section of seats has eight rows with 12 seats in each row. At the center of each of the first three rows, four seats cannot be used. How many seats can be used in this section? So, eight rows with 12 seats. So we have 12 seats in eight rows, but we have to subtract three times four because three rows have broken seats. Okay, so first we need to find out what this is. So 8 times 2 is 16. Carry the 1. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So 96. Subtract 3 times 4 is 12. So subtract those 12. Let me move this so you can see it. Sorry about that. Okay. 6 minus 2 is 4 and 8 minus 1 is 8. Sorry, 9 minus 1 is 8. Goodness. So how many seats can be used in the section? 84 seats. Okay. All right. What are the parcel products shown by the model below? Well, 10 times 30 is 1 times 3 is 3, and then I have one, two zeros. 10 times 4 is 40. 6 times 3 is 18, and then that, that add that zero, 1. And 6 times 4 is 24. So 300, 180. 40 and 24. Doesn't want to know the answer, just wants to know the partial products. Okay, good job guys. Come on back for 4.3. See you soon.